come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all. Amen. As we gather here this morning as God's family, with confidence we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you are the gift of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the fruit of our heavenly teaching and fire with the longing of true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> The reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what can we say that Abraham found our ancestors according to the flesh? Indeed, if Abraham was justified on the basis of his works, he has reason to boast. But this was not so. In the sight of God, for what does the scriptures say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of grace is credited not as a gift, but as something new. But when one does not work, yet believes in the one who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. So also David declares the blessedness of the person to whom God credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven as whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not recall. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsive Psalm. I turn to you, Lord, in the time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn to you, Lord, in a time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt. In his spirit there is no guile. I turn to you, Lord, in a time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt from my sin. I turn to you, Lord, in the time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you just. Exalt all you upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in the time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Beware of the leaven, 
That is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be made known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness, it will be heard in the light. And what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that you do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid, for you are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is teaching his disciples today and teaching us as well how intimate God is with his creation. That if God takes notice of the little sparrow, how much more do you think God will take notice of you? That God takes an intimate part of his creation. The authority of felt by God is felt to the level to the little bit of the sparrow. We all know that when most people get into positions of authority, the further they're removed from the little things of life, the little details of life. But here we have a God who's willing to take care of the little sparrow. Notice how I don't talk about the hairs of your head. <laughs> But just as importantly, how he takes an intimate part of his creation. And so thus we should be able to turn to that God and have that relationship as well. And by doing so, we should model that relationship to one another. To let our authority be known through the little things and the little actions of our lives. To take notice of the little presence of God in our lives by acknowledging that presence around us. And I invite you to stand. As we turn before our God and make known our needs and our desires. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let's pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world. Then the war of terrorism and racism. For this let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for our ending to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all the doctors and nurses and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who have died, those who have died today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us take a moment and silently pray for our own attention. We pray for all our intentions, including the intentions for Hugh Blue and Marie Blue. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread of God. Good of you, the work of human beings. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed be God forever. We ask you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this morning that we have. Through the divine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual Blessed be God forever. And pray, my sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy churches. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your hands, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing to such great measure, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvage, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new, and offer us your signs of your love, that in your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us to courage, the fervent prayer sustain us in all that we do. And so the Lord with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltations we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of our hope, and make holy before these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broken. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. As we celebrate the moment of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may now to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with and in O God, Almighty Father, in the energy of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together now let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus comes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray for liberty. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity and accordance with your will. For you have been reigned forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my Thank you. 
The body clock. 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 The body The body The body The body Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of St. Teresa and rejoicing to sing of your mercies for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to attend. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you, God. God.